All right, Capricorn, welcome to your weekly horoscope for April 27th through May 3rd. My name is Athen. All right, so let's go and have a look at the chart here for this week. We've got the uh, full moon here uh, on Sunday. Uh, as we unfold through the week, as we get closer to the weekend, we're going to notice this energy here, this full moon in your 10th. So there was a lot of new beginnings, you know, over the past couple weeks, few weeks, depending on when you're watching this, involving your fourth house of home, family, connecting to our emotional roots, our past, our sentiments. And now we have a culmination point this week involving that 10th house. So this can be a high time in terms of your work, anything on that public level, your legacy, you know, things that are um, part of the bigger picture, long-term stuff. And so whatever you may have been working on there over the past six months when you had a new moon in that 10th house six months ago can be a culmination point in regards to that as well. So as the week unfolds, we're going to see more and more of this illumination. And for you, that illumination is the 10th. So seeing clearly the 10th house, the top of the chart, the career, the work, the public related things. And so use that, you know, as the week unfolds, look at your life, have that overall perspective, especially in the career or work or public sector and you can have that illumination that awareness of what exactly is transpiring and, and could be culmination too depending on your orientation of that over the past six months but the emphasis is still very much on your fourth house here this week when we have uh, all the aspects still involving these fast moving planets in fact mercury is going to be in that fourth house up until thursday so a lot of these planets in the fourth and that's really the emphasis here, especially Monday through Wednesday, because uh, we have a lot of aspects from Chiron and Neptune in the early part of the week. Chiron's going to be sextiling up to that Mars here on Monday, and then Neptune is going to be um, sextiling the Sun here um, on uh, Wednesday, and then Tuesday and Wednesday, that Chiron's going to be uh, squaring up to this Venus over here. So your fourth and fifth house really being activated in the early part of the week. So in the early part with the fourth house in particular, this is about, again, the home, the family, the emotional connections of life, retreating, going within. It's a very protective energy too, where we protect the things that are sentiment, sentimentally important to us. So with this energy here in the early part, that can be very healing and it can be very spiritual too when we bring in the elements of Neptune and Chiron. And so this is from your second house. So you guys have, you know, over many years have been hopefully finding the importance of flow when it comes to the abundance and material elements of life and trust, trust in the whole process, divine process, and trust in God, you know, trust in the universe, however you see that. And then Chiron healing a lot of old wounds and insecurities and things relating to, you know, finances, your ability to gain, um, you know, the things you value in life, your sense of uh, self-reliance. And so this is a very supportive energy, Monday through Wednesday. Bring in this flow with the second house. Bring in this healing with the second house. And again, it's, it's this thing where it's about trust. And so if you have that Monday through Wednesday, you're going to be supported in all of these unfold, unfoldments with the emotional fourth house related things and the fifth house too, where you have Venus, you know. Venus has been about enjoyment in terms of your guys' passion your 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 uh, creativity your self-expression i think your self-expression has been very enjoyable or could be there's an opportunity for that in this week as well so supporting that you know it's a square with the venus but bringing it in constructively using this second house flow and healing will assist a lot of this passion and enjoyment to be had there you see so that's Monday through Wednesday. And then on Thursday, we have Mercury changing sign. He's going from that fourth house into your fifth house here on Thursday. So there will be a shift of mind. And the shift of mind is really going from think thinking more about the past, the sentiments, you know, these types of matters with Mercury. Then midweek, more into the passion, the fun, the creativity, you know, things that put a smile on your face. And that's what is really going to be the emphasis as now the fast moving planets all start to go into that fifth house. Next will be Mars and then the sun into that fifth. So from Thursday onward, you know, bring in that creativity into your thoughts, bring in that self-expression into your communications, express yourself. You know, this is all fifth house related things. And then that'll be working with this transition, which is happening. And like, and like I said, there is this enjoyment to be had with that fifth house with Venus there. 
So that's going to be the shift midweek from the fourth through the uh, from your fourth house to the fifth house. And then on Saturday and Sunday we have an opposition uh, with your ruler Saturn. Venus will be opposing. Excuse me, Mercury will be opposing up to your Saturn in the eleventh. Your ruler. So since uh, the tail end of last year, there's been a lot of this um, grounded approach to the either groups, the community-related things, the um, income from your work, the enjoyment from your work, giving, contributing, your ideals. All this stuff has been under very uh, disciplined and long-term approach to uh, that part of your life with Saturn there. So over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday... Uh, balance that stuff with this whatever it is you're involved with here. Something new is coming up creatively or you're thinking more creatively or passionately or whatever is a passion here. And then the fifth house is about self. The fifth house is about the enjoyment of expressing yourself. And it's very personal in that sense. So whereas the 11th house is very much about others and assisting and giving to things itself, it's balancing your creativity important to you with the things that are important to the collective or the community and so finding that middle path is going to be the key Saturday and Sunday bring in that disciplined approach to maybe some of these creative or self-expressive things you might be involved with will be a good utilization as well and this week is very much about balancing because we have that opposition then of course the full moon is about opposition so on uh, Sunday when we have that full moon energy it's going to be about balancing those domestic things, you know, these new beginnings with the domestic side of life, the emotions with the more public stuff. So if you can find that middle path there with the career or anything else that's coming to a culmination this month, balance that with and remembering that this whole cycle is about connecting to your feelings, your sentiments, the things that are important to you uh, emotionally. All right, Capricorn, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you're new to this form of astrology, do check the link down below or check the description for information on that because it is different from most of what you find online. And if you like a personal reading, looking at your personal planets, do check the link as well. Have a great time, and I'm here if you guys have any questions. Take care.